In tonight's Healthier Me, the first treatment for COVID-19 could be on the way. Early data on the drug remdesivir, which was originally tested to treat Ebola, shows it may be effective in combating coronavirus. Sarah Dahl has our story. It's too early to call it a sure cure. But stocks of pharmaceutical company Gilead surged on a new report about a trial of remdesivir, showing promise, but also very preliminary results. According to medical news website STAT, which obtained video of a discussion about the trial, the University of Chicago Medicine treated 125 patients, the majority of whom were seriously ill with daily infusions of remdesivir. Two died, but most recovered and were discharged. In a statement, the university said drawing conclusions from partial data would be premature and scientifically unsound. Last Friday, research published in the New England Journal of Medicine found 68% of patients in a smaller study at UC Davis were able to reduce oxygen support, including the use of ventilators, after receiving the drug. Infectious disease experts are cautiously optimistic, but say more data is needed, including from trials where some patients receive the drug and others are given a placebo. It looks very encouraging compared to a lot of other medications, right? And based on whatever is published so far, but we still need uh, information from the randomized control trial and I'm optimistic we'll have that information pretty soon. Possibly putting researchers and health experts closer to a COVID-19 treatment breakthrough. Sarah Dolliff. NBC News. And there are numerous studies being done looking at this drug. The latest and the largest in the world is underway in Atlanta currently. It's a double blind study where neither the doctor nor the patient know who is receiving the drug and who is getting the placebo. Still to come, our chief meteorologist Hush Johnson returns from his home with an update on our weekend weather planner.